Bienvenido to our first challenge of our free Spanish course for beginners. In 30 lessons and 6 challenges, you will learn Spanish with the story of Leo. And today it's challenge time and we are testing the last 5 lessons. The challenge is to retell the last 5 lessons of the story to someone and stay within a time limit. But now let's see in detail how the challenge works. As already mentioned, you have to retell the last five lessons to someone in a certain amount of time. You can tell the story in the first, second or third person, in the present or past tense. To make this work, you can actively practice everything beforehand with Quizlet. And try to tell the story fluently, without long pauses. And then you're ready to test yourself in real life. So here we go. You have to tell someone your story in the first, second and third person in present or past tense. And to make sure it works, learn everything beforehand with Quizlet. As always, you can find the link in the video description or directly in my course on Quizlet. You can learn everything in flashcard mode. And please always activate the audio. Hmm, first person present tense. Soy Leo. Soy Leo. Tengo 20 años. Tengo 20 años. Y soy de Alemania. Y soy de Alemania. And now it's your turn. Please pause the video now and practice actively the challenge on Quizlet. If you have done everything well, you are now ready for the challenge. You now have to tell the story to someone within the time limit. And you can use my sheet sheet with the images of the story to help you. You can find the sheet sheet with the pictures in the video description. You can simply download it and print it out. And now tell the story to someone. You can tell the story to a friend, your child, your dog or your plant. And always try to stay within the time limit. You can use my sheet sheet. Tell everything fluently and don't pay too much attention to possible mistakes. And now it's your turn. So please pause the video now and tell someone the story in first, second and third person in present and past tense. If you have successfully completed the challenge, you are now ready for lesson number six. And thank you, thank you very much for doing this course with me. And I see you in our next lesson.